Sup everyone, Tiny Dog here, and welcome to my how to install Technic Pack and Technic Pack also. So you're probably wondering what is Technic Pack? Well, right now I'm on their website, which is uh, TechnicPack.net, and what it is is Technic Pack is a mod pack. So this has all your favorite mods, and I'll show you which mods there are. So the first uh, mod pack we have is called Technic, and this is for single player. And what this has, if we click here on the mod list, it has a ton of mods. Industrial craft, red power, build craft, and equivalent exchange, rail craft, computer craft, uh, Balkan's weapon mod, ender storage, iron chest, um, Power converters, not enough items, Stomcraft, Mistcraft, Tree Capitator, and many more mods. And also, it comes with all the um, Optifine, the ID block resolver, stuff that a uh, Forge API. These things help uh, make all these mods run together without any issues. Because if you know, if you try to install mods before, it's really a pain if you try to do it manually. So what this Technic Pack does is it bunches all these mods together for Minecraft and allows you to install them without having to do all the hard work. It will do everything for you. And um, this is for single player, Technic. Now, for multiplayer, so let's say you try to join a server, a Technic server, which is spelled differently. It might sound like Technic, but it's called Technic. Now what this is, is this is your, your mod pack for multiplayer. So if we go to mod list here, it has pretty much the same mods as before. Industrial craft, red power, build craft, equivalent exchange, and etc. But it doesn't have all the mods from the Technic pack. And the reason why is this is because not all mods are compatible on multiplayer. So what this does is puts all the, the mods that you can use on multiplayer and actually use on your own server it'll put it all, everything together and have everything running uh, flawlessly without any issues so if you're if you want to go online and play with friends and they tell you that you need Techic this is where you're gonna get it and uh, very easy to install I will show you that so just remember that Techic is for multiplayer and Technic is for single player so tech, the single player one has a lot more mods, like I just said, but Techic allows you to play online with your friends or join servers that are Techic uh, compatible. So how do we how do we download and install these awesome mods? As you, as you saw, there's a lot of mods. There's more than ten, and uh, there could be issues, but this all this will all. Uh, make you not worry about the issues because it'll install everything for you so what we're gonna do first of course before installing any mods is you're gonna wanna go to your, your dot minecraft folder so we'll just go here we'll type percent sign app data percent sign and you'll see right here it says roaming click that and right here is your dot minecraft folder so this is where your minecraft files are for the regular game and what you want to do is uh, select all those files and you're gonna cut them then you're gonna make a folder let's say on your desktop call it backup minecraft and you're gonna paste that f all those files into this folder so now you have a backup of your minecraft folder and your saves just in case something goes wrong uh, you can always go back to your old save and not worry about losing any of your saves so that's a very important thing to do before you install mods is to make a backup folder so now that that's done we have um, right here is uh, we have nothing in our dot minecraft folder now so what we'll do is we'll just uh, restart minecraft and I'll put my password in here and log in and the reason why I'm doing this is it's gonna reinstall Minecraft since we took it all out before it's gonna reinstall all, all the Minecraft uh, 
files and we just close that and if we go back to our dot minecraft folder you can see now it, it put back all the um, files so this is a fresh install nothing has been done here and we can close that so now we'll go back to the technic page okay and you're gonna download the technic launcher uh, it's the same thing for for both of technic and Technic. okay and right here where it says download the Technic server that's if you have your own server and you let's say you want to make it a Technic server you would download that but if you want to join a server uh, then you would download uh, this launcher so it doesn't matter which one you do I'll do this one Technic launcher okay um, and the, the download will start it automatically but you also want to make sure that your version of Java which what is what Minecraft runs off of is up to date and you have the latest version so you want to click that link there and make sure your version of Java is the most up-to-date version that's very important okay so now uh, I click download here well actually it popped up automatically and uh, I'm gonna save the file okay and <clears throat> right here we have Technic Launcher. So what I'm going to do is double click that and I'm going to run it. Okay. Now we have a, a screen here. This is the launcher. And we're going to have to again put in our Minecraft ID and the Minecraft password uh, if I remember the password I think it's it's not that okay and I'll just say remember and now we have like I explained we got our two versions here they have other, other mod packs also but uh, I um, these other versions I'm not too familiar with this yog box this voxel I think they're kind of out of date so what we want since I, I like playing single player I'll just click technic okay and now I will log in and what it's gonna do once I log in is gonna install all those mods for me without me having doing it and without me having to do anything so let's log in now right here it's going to start the downloading. You'll see the bar go here. And since uh, 1.3.2 Minecraft is out, um, it's going to down it's going to downgrade us back to 1.2.5 because that's the version of Minecraft that all these mods work for. But see the beautiful thing is you don't have to worry about that because it'll automatically do that for you through the Technic launcher. So now this might take a while depending on your internet connection and uh, I guess your computer speed. But you're going to let this download all the mods and it's going to install it automatically for you. Um, you can see there's Mo Creatures, Thomcraft, Red Power, Minimap, Thomcraft, uh, I think I said that already, Tube Stuff, and then the config files. So now, automatically, it'll pop up this screen and this is where your Minecraft is. And now, it might take a while for this Mojang screen to. Um, clear out because it's loading all these mods for the first time so just give it a second <clears throat> it might seem like it's gonna have an error but it's all good and here we are so now we're on minecraft and you'll see all this information here it's telling you how many block IDs you have left in case you wanna even install even more mods but right here on the bottom left, we can see we have Minecraft version 1.2.5 um, and all the other versions of the other mods. And look at this, 51 mods. And you can even go here, click mods. And I'll show you all the mods that are installed. Um, Buildcraft to logistic pipes to everything. But it's all, everything's installed and everything's working. So if we even go to um, single player and we'll create a new world and we'll
we'll just uh, wait for that. <clears throat> Save in chunks. Okay. And there we go. Now we're into our, our world and we have all our mods installed. Um, you can hear those sounds. That's from a mod. They add more of uh, like life sounds. You can hear birds chirping. Uh, and uh, they, they, they change some of the sound effects also. You can see here mo, mo creatures. You got scorpions. So this, I mean, if you never played any of these mods before, it might be a big, a huge surprise to you. Uh, the amount of stuff they added in this one mod, mod pack, but it's awesome because you can enjoy it. That's Thomcraft right there. I wouldn't hit that if I was you, if you're a noob, because those things will kick your butt. And what's that? That looks like a snake. Snake in the desert. That's oh, that's a rattlesnake. Oh, I'm not messing with you. But um, so if we if we hit our inventory, we can see right here. We have all our mods. We got 47 pages of mods. And uh, you can pretty much start messing around with all this stuff <coughs> through NEI, which is not enough items, which is this whole interface here. And, uh, you know, you can check out recipes by hitting R, stuff like that, in case you don't know how to make stuff. So we can tell that all the mods are installed. And. Oh, you know, that's pretty much it in terms of installing the mods. So now you have Buildcraft, Industrial Craft, all those awesome mods. Now you have them without having to worry about how to um, install them or anything like that. This is all done for you in a nice, easy package. That's oil from Buildcraft. All right. So, Dak, I could pretty much end the video here. You guys just got to go out and do your thing. But... Just in case you were wondering um, how to install it for how to install Tekic, which is what you want to use for multiplayer, I'll show you. Okay, uh, we can close this, and uh, we can go back to my download folder, which is one of, okay. Here you go, Technic Launcher. So, oh yeah, take your launcher, put it on your desktop as a shortcut because you'll be using that a lot. But. <clears throat> What you want to do is run Tech Launcher again. Okay. And say you want to have Tech Techic, you do not have to delete any folders just because you installed a different mod pack. All you would have to do is click Techic so that that's selected and then re log in to your Minecraft uh, name and hit login and it will download everything for you it'll back up your folder and now it's gonna download pretty much the multiplayer uh, mods that are gonna work on multiplayer and you don't have to worry about deleting anything and pretty much after this is done now you can join any tech server that's out there because uh, it'll give you the most up-to-date version um, and I'll even show you how to select uh, different versions because they're gonna have a recommended version which is has the least amount of bugs but then they will also have a development version which is gonna be the newer version but it might have some bugs but usually it's playable and sometimes they'll even have diff more mods on it um, so I'll show you how to do that in a second but right now it just installed Techic mod pack so now I can join a Techic server and uh, be playing industrial craft with my friends and that's really cool to have um, so you know it's very easy to do you just saw what I did just use that Techic launcher and now you can see we have 41 mods loaded because Techic has less mods because not every mod is multiplayer compatible. But uh, the same thing, if I had a, a multiplayer server, which I do not have right now, that was running Techic, I could join it. No problems. So that's how you do Techic also. 
Now let me show you how to choose what version of Technic or Technic you want. So what we're going to do is go back to our launcher because you do everything from the launcher. Um, you can, if you want to do it, just do everything, launch the game from the launcher and install the mods from the launcher. <coughs> okay, so look at my characters here now. It shows me my skin, my U.S. Army skin. So let's say um, <clears throat> I want to do Technic, right? But I want to download the development build, which is going to be the newest version, but it might have some bugs. So what I do is just I go to options here. And right here, you'll see it says always use development builds or always use recommended builds. So, of course, rec if you keep your cursor on it, it'll say recommended builds are nearly um, bug free and well tested but development builds are often unstable and buggy so it's completely up to you what version you want to use <coughs> but even if you, so we did recommend a build just before so let's use this just do the development build because we want to see what's new and you can also assign how much memory you want to your minecraft um, one gigabyte of memory, two gigabytes. I suggest not using too much memory because you can crash your computer and game from that. But if you have a lot of memory, you can uh, pretty much allocate uh, ever how many uh, RAMs of memory you want. <clears throat> so I'll do, let's say I'll do two gigabytes. But uh, I hit OK. It's going to relaunch the launcher. <clears throat> and if I log in. It's going to update since I picked that development build. It's going to ask me if I want to update, and I'm going to hit yes. So now it's going to back up the previous version, and I'm, now I'm going to have the highest version of Tekic. It might have the most bugs, but it'll be the the latest version, <clears throat> and that's good if you if a server is running the latest version for Tekic, let's say, and you need it, you can just easily download it from this launcher. <clears throat> so I think that's pretty much it so just remember the website uh, techicpack.net and uh, yeah start start downloading it right away it's pretty much the best mod pack out there and it saves you the time and hassle of doing the mod install yourself and getting bugs and getting ID errors so <clears throat> I suggest you guys go out there and, and do it. Um, so yeah, if you guys got any questions, uh, feel free to leave a comment, send me a personal message, um, and uh, hopefully you guys you know won't have any too many issues with it. So I guess that's it, and I will catch you guys next episode. Take care.